Alpha, Omega, ancient of this, Daddy, I give you praise. Lord, I want to thank you for your power, for your glory. I want to thank you for your mercy. I want to thank you, God, for what you're said to do. Thank you, God, because there will be sure deliverance for someone. For as many that come to you today, there will be sure deliverance from any and every believable lies told about us, told about our loved ones, or that we have believed about ourselves, or believed about our loved ones. Daddy, we will connect to your original intention, your original purpose. What you have in mind for us is what will prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. We come before you, Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end. We come before you, Jehovah, you who see the end from the beginning. Father, is there any mother under the sound of my voice? Jehovah, that this evil wall or the power of darkness has stigmatized. Is there any father that have been stigmatized by this wicked wall or the powers of darkness? Is there any family, community, nation? Daddy, has your church been stigmatized? Daddy, today, take away every stigmatization. Take away, oh Lord, every believable lies that have come to stay, overturn and undo. Let there be deliverance, oh God, to put back your honor and glory. The one you transferred in the book of John chapter 17, verse 22. That glory you transferred to the church. Every believable lies that want to fight that glory, let it be destroyed today. And let your glory in Jesus' name manifest in the life of your people. Thank you. On this holy mountain, faith clinic and healing atmosphere, even missionary outreach mountain of PPP. I reveal your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. I reveal your name, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, what you have said concerning us is final. That's what will be. That's what will prevail. In Jesus' name I've decreed. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's going to be a very powerful time in God's presence. And I know somebody, every believable prophecy of lies that have been told about you, every believable prophecy of evil that have been spoken over your family by the powers of darkness, by any level of wickedness, principality, power, rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness, Ephesians 6 verse 12, any level of negative, satanic, you know, believable lie that I've been told. Today, the Holy Spirit made me to understand that there will be deliverance for such people. Whether it be believable lie of the physical part of your life, emotional part of your life or the spiritual today there will be deliverance to overturn such you will not do anything less the will of god you will not leave short the will of god in the name of jesus christ every glory of god in your life will manifest as god intended it that's what the holy spirit says will happen as we pray along today that restoration will take place refreshment resuscitation revival will take place in the name of jesus christ let us start by prophesying peace and joy into the hearts of every man every woman join me as we prophesy peace and joy hallelujah praise the lord thank you jesus we give you praise we worship your holy name Know your name, oh Lord. Oh, 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 oh. Praise yeah, the Lord. I fail to worry. I fail to worry about the things, about the things I that I see. I have my oh, peace. Oh, oh. I got my peace. I have my joy. I got my joy. Even when people praise the Lord. Said to me that what I'm is slow, going on? I have my peace. I've got my peace in Christ. Got my job. I will trust, I will trust in, the in the Lord. Cause he is he never will never slow. let me down. I have my peace. I've got my peace in Christ. I have my joy. And I will wait, I will wait on, on the Lord. Cause he will never fail. I have my peace. 
Give him all the praise, hallelujah. I've got my peace in Christ. Worship the Lord with me now. I will wait on the Lord. I will wait on the Lord. I've got my peace, hallelujah. Somebody say, my trust is in Yahweh. He will never let me down. Praise the Lord God Almighty. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. My life, my life, my life, my life, Lord. Depends on you, Yahweh. Tomorrow and tonight, I see your hand. Oh, 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 I raise my hand hey, to you, Yahweh. I don't not give me joy. My life, my life, Lord, depends on you, depends on you, Lord. Tomorrow, praise the Lord, light in your hand. I raise, I raise, I raise my hands, oh Lord, to you, Yahweh. Lord, do not give me joy, let me answer, let me give me peace. What can I do without your joy, Lord? Give me your peace, O oh Lord, my power. Give me your joy, Adonai. Yeah, give me your peace. Give me your joy. Let 
Let your power flow to the Lord. Let your mercy be seen in our life. We ask for your peace, O Lord. Oh, oh. He is your peace, Lord. Give me your body, come back to us. Give me your peace. Give me your joy. Oh, oh, oh. May the peace and the joy of God today be somebody's default. May you be so much filled up with his peace and joy today. Please get your bottle of water ready. It's time, it's time. Get your bottle of water ready in the name of Jesus Christ. It's time, get your bottle of water ready and type the word ready. Rabba, baba, baba, ba, dalabos. Oh, baleke, telimusika. Get your bottle of water ready and type the word ready. Praise God. It's time for us to pray. 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 Rashan talimosi. I baleke telimo. Roka ba 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 le katali. Libra ke telimosi kaba. Zaleke telimo. Ora ba 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 libra le katalios. Libra reke telimosi kaba. Rashan talimos kaye ba talimo. O rabba baba leka dalagaba, rashaka dalabo, riba deli mosikaba. Get your bottle of water ready and type the word ready. Mandelie kalibratoso, mandelie balikatosi kaba. O raga baba ba le baleke teli mo, zan teli mosikaba. Holy Spirit take control, take over. Holy Spirit take over, take control. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody plead the blood, plead the blood. Something is happening right now in the spirit realm. Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood. Plead the blood, plead the blood of Jesus. Ma shakata, rekaba dalagaba, mikari batalamus, izake telibo, ibran lekado sikayaba. Plead the blood, plead the blood. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Raka dali bantalios. Raka dali bantalios. O ragaba zakete limosi. Mandala gaboza. Rekete lima ebali kateli. Araba kaba usali ebaronzi. Ikrale bantali. Maka raba baba. Zege delebo. Something is happening in the spirit. I will explain. I will explain. Something is happening in the spirit. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your household, over your loved ones. Plead the blood over your family, over your children. Plead the blood. The blood of Jesus Christ. Today we are trusting the Holy Spirit through the power of the blood. Through the power of the blood. Through the power of the blood to do signs and wonders. To do or in unthinkable things in our midst in the name of Jesus Christ even as we commit ourselves completely into the hands of the Lord hallelujah the Holy Spirit take control take over take over take control the Holy Spirit take control take over take over take control the Holy Spirit take control take over the Holy Spirit take over take control Rabba Baba Risha Katalibo Iba Leke Telimo Sikaba Mandre Leke Telibantali Ozale Bakatalio Somebody join me and say, Holy Spirit, take control, take over. It's very important as the Lord starts to make us to understand from the scripture, you know, the things that he would do today, you would appreciate the prayer we are praying. Somebody, you are believing a lie over or concerning yourself. What you're believing about yourself is not true. And today the Lord will put rectification. Today the Lord will put correction to that belief you have over yourself. That belief that people have consigning you. The Lord is going to correct it. The power of the Holy Spirit is going to correct it. The Holy Spirit will make you into whom God intends you to be. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say the Holy Spirit will make you into whom you are going to be. Whom he intended you to be. Whether the enemy likes it or not. Whether the enemy is in agreement or not. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will end up being who God says you will be. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. That's who you're going to be. Ah, you're going to end up being who God says you're going to be. Not what the enemy is thinking, not what the enemy is planning, not what the enemy has slated you know, for your life, for your loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ. Jeremiah 33 verse 2. Let's start with Jeremiah 33 verse 2. Somebody under the sound of my voice kindly. Let us start with Jeremiah 33 verse 2. There is something God wants to do. Jeremiah 33 verse 2. Jeremiah 33 verse 2. Jeremiah 33 verse 2. Maka dala gaya dala bo. Roba katoso. Zake telimo sikaba. Idrele keteli. Jeremiah 33 verse 2. Let's start from there. And I know that somebody, God, will be communicating very clearly to your hearts and to your mind, to your spirit, the things that he has intended even before the foundations of the earth were laid. He's going to communicate to you, you know, in the name of Jesus Christ. Rabba ba shaka talibro. Libra keteli mo sikaba. Jeremiah 33 verse 2 Manga dalagaba Rekaba dalagaba zikaba Somebody, the Lord is granting you Unbelievable turnaround Unbelievable turnaround Unbelievable deliverance Unbelievable turnaround Unbelievable deliverance Just like death could not hold Jesus Christ captive Honestly, even in the grave Jesus is Lord in that circumstance, in that situation that you have been labeled, that you have been tagged, that you have been given, one, one, you know, that, you know, those presumptions. Today, the Lord will overturn every presumptions of your life, of my life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you with me, man of God? Are you with me? Jeremiah 33, verse 2 says, Thus see the Lord, the maker thereof. Thus seeth the Lord, the maker thereof. We're not talking about any other God. We're talking about the one who is able to do, that can make things happen. The maker is his name. Hallelujah. The maker thereof. Hallelujah. Thus said the Lord, the maker thereof. He said the Lord that formed it. The Lord that formed it to establish it. Glory to God. The God that formed it to establish it. There is a plan of God for your life. He formed it not to abandon it. He formed it not to deny it. He formed it to establish it. <coughs> he formed it to establish it. Hallelujah. He formed it to establish it. The Lord is his name. So you, you want to lift up your voice and start to pray. The God Almighty that has led you onto this, to this mountain. The God Almighty that has called you out of your mother's womb. Isaiah 44 verse 24. Isaiah 44 verse 24 and Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. The God who called you out from your mother's womb, called with a purpose, called with an intention. Called with a purpose, called with an intention. Or formed you with a purpose and formed with an intention. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Lord, the maker thereof. The, the maker thereof, the Lord that formed it to establish it, the Lord is his name. Jeremiah 1 verse 5 says, even when you were in your mother's womb, he said he knew you, he knew me. If he ordained us to do his purpose and his plan, right from our mother's womb, excuse me, <coughs> right from our mother's womb, Isaiah 44 verse 24 made us to know that the Lord himself who formed you, who formed me, knew us right from our mother's womb hallelujah he formed us from our mother's womb he had a plan and purpose for us from our mother's womb and he knew what he's going to make out of you and me somebody in the name of jesus christ you will end up i will end up conforming to god's agreement or god's thoughts and purpose i will end up you will end up we will end up agreeing to god's divine purpose for us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah you will agree i will agree you will conform i will conform we will conform to the original intention of god for us whether the enemy is in agreement or not put in prayer put in prayer prayer put in prayer 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 put in prayer 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 to the glory and honor of his name in the name of jesus christ malagadayagaba rashan talimosi rigadelebo sikaba mankan talibro Oh, Ragaba Deli Batali, Ragagaga. He formed it to establish it. He formed it not to abandon it. He formed it to establish it. He formed it not to turn his back on it. He formed it to establish it. He formed it to give it a, a, con a conclusion, a good ending. 
a conclusion, a good ending in the name of Jesus Christ. What is that lie that you have believed concerning yourself? What lie have you believed concerning yourself? Today, may what God intended, what God formed, what God intended for your life prevail. This is a serious prayer. We'll be seeing several examples as we carry on. This is a serious prayer. Now, we are starting with Jeremiah 33 verse 2. And we are substantiating Jeremiah 33 verse 2 with, with Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 and Isaiah 44 verse 24. God knew you from the womb. God knew right when your mother was pregnant of you. God knew. God had a plan right from the womb. He had a plan. Praise God. But can you, are you living that plan? Are you like Tamar? Are you like Tamar that everybody knew her? Everybody saw her and knew her as being childless. Legitimately married. But was going childless. Are you like Tamar? Do you know that this believable lie by the power of darkness would have been permanent in the life of Tamar? Until the husband died. When the husband died, even the second one that was asked to continue with her that she may have, you know, offspring, she couldn't get pregnant by that one. She couldn't. She had to, there had to be a kind of a plan Tamar put up. Tamar had to disguise herself. And Tamar was, was preg got pregnant for Judah, the, fa the father of her first husband. How she knew that that was where her destiny lied is what I don't understand. But you see, Tamar would have died without a child in life and in destiny. If not for that understanding or plan or whatever, you know, inspiration that came into her and she went and did what she did and got pregnant for Judah. And guess what? When she got pregnant, it was not that she gave birth to one. She didn't give birth to one. She gave birth to twin. She gave birth to Paris and Zera. She gave birth to twin. Unbelievable. Somebody that everybody had concluded that she's barren. She could never have a child. But after the death of her husband and after she carried out in quote as it were, you know, an understanding. She carried out a process. That process worked for her. Even some people will carry out such process and it will not work for them. But that process, God had mercy upon her and brought her deliverance. Deliverance that took away the believable lie of her life that she is barren, she could never conceive. And she had a twin. Somebody under the sound of my voice. Whatever whatever is hindering the intention of God. Look, God had intention for her that she would have a child in this life. But there were several things trying to make her look as if she would never fulfill what? That purpose. As we read in Jeremiah 33 verse 2, he formed it to establish it. There is no one under the sound of my voice that God uh, her, had given the grace to be on this earth without a purpose. Tamar ended up fulfilling that purpose tamar ended up fulfilling that purpose for which she was formed for which she was formed although for several years everybody knew her as being barren or childless but she had deliverance deliverance came for her and when she was delivered she had twin she had twin she gave birth to twin Somebody under the side of my voice, can we start to pray? What is that thing that has stigmatized your life, your destiny? What is that stigmatization you are carrying? What is that believable lie? And it looks so real, as if it's true. Everybody has believed it for several years. As the Lord overturned the believable lies over the life of Tamar, Oh Lord, overturn every believable lie in my life, in my destiny, in the life of my children, in the life of my business. What is that which you have brought before the Lord? Can we start to pray? Can we start to pray and pray this dangerous prayer? The Lord who turned around the life of Tamar at the last minute, 
at the last minute that God is still alive, he will turn your life around. He will turn the life of your son. Is your son having a life like Tamar? Have they stigmatized your son? Criminal. Have they stigmatized your son? No, no good. No good. No good a son. No good a child. Nothing good can come. Have they stigmatized your son? The black sheep of the family. The Lord can turn the life of that son of yours around the last minute. Have they stigmatized your daughter? Have they stigmatized your daughter like Tamar? That she can never conceive. She can never have a child. Not with God. Not with with him who formed who not with the maker not with him who formed it to establish it involve him who formed to establish it involve him ask him the way forward some of us you would, would always say i could never you know some people they don't know that the enemy knew the enemy is aware of how great their destiny will be so it will make them make a vow or, or make a covenant around the greatness of their life some will say i will never marry again if my when my husband passes on some will say I will never marry again if my wife passes on not knowing that it is in that second time that the lord will actually unveil the truth of their life or the very very no the truth and unlike the believable lie they believe in well for tamar you could just see if she had made up her mind that after that first husband she's not going to have another husband then should have actually died a woman and the, and everybody will believe that she is barren only to appear in heaven and find out that God had plans. Somebody in Jesus, you will live to fulfill the purpose of God in your life. Somebody join me. I will live to fulfill the purpose of God in my life. Somebody say, I will live to fulfill the numbers of my days. I will live to fulfill the numbers of my days. I will live to fulfill the numbers of my days. Put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. Put in prayer, prayer, prayer. Prophesy over your son right now under the sound of my voice. Prophesy and say, my son will live to fulfill the numbers of his days. My son will live to fulfill the numbers of his days. My daughter will live to fulfill the numbers of her days. Prophesy, man of God, prophesy. Prophesy, woman of God, prophesy. Prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ. Tamar received the plans and purpose of God in the land of the living. And so will you receive. So will you live. So will you demonstrate those purpose, those plans and purpose of God in the land of the living. Put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer, put in prayer, prayer, prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Maragadalagaba. Wopateli Mosika. Endrele keteli bantali. Ragababa Zaketeli Mo. Horaba keli bratali. Zaketeli Mosukaba. Call upon the Lord. Call upon him. Jeremiah 33, verse 3 say, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Call on God, not man. Call on God, not man. Call on God, not man. The Lord responded to the prayers of Tamar. Today, the Lord will respond to your prayers, especially if your prayers are unto God and not unto any man. Especially if your prayers are unto God and not unto any man. Lift up your voice and pray now. Put in prayer, prayer, prayer. Somebody under the sound of my voice. If you do not pray for your son, you might not see that turn around. Somebody, if you do not pray for your daughter, you might not see that turn around. Somebody, if you do not pray for yourself, there might not be a turn around. Somebody, if you do not pray for your spouse, there might not be the turn around you desire. That stigmatization, one could die with it. 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 There are some people who died with the believable lies of their life many examples in the scriptures believable lies of their life they died with it they died with it they died with it they died with it but there are other people that the lord showed mercy unto may you and i be amongst those people may you and i be among those that will see the mercy of god psalm 30 verse 10 may god show you mercy and may god at this point in time be your helper may god be my helper may god be our helper even as we lift up our voice to pray lift up your son and mention his name specifically lift up your daughter and mention her name specifically say to the lord psalm 30 verse 10 hear O lord and have mercy upon me lord be my helper lord be my helper lord be my helper 
oh lord oh lord have mercy upon me oh lord have mercy hear oh lord and have mercy hear oh lord and have mercy upon me lord be thou my helper today the lord respond to your prayer today the lord respond to your prayer i am sure this could be the kind of prayer tama was praying and said lord be my helper how could i be childless like this how could i go like this without having a, a you know a, a, you know having a seed how can i go like this without having a seed a child to call my own and then of course the process she took the mercy of god manifested that's it the mercy of god manifested she gave back to twin somebody for your shame bible say there will be double for your shame bible say there will be double that is if you have handed over everything truly unto the lord remember that that double will not come by man it will come by it will come from god you see it will not come by man it will come from god isaiah 61 verse 7 isaiah 61 verse 7 for your shame for your shame ye shall have double this was the case of tamar for her shame she had double at the end of the day the lord gave her twin she gave birth to twin hallelujah at the end of the day the lord remembered her hallelujah the lord remembered her in one pregnancy she gave birth to two you know when you talk about god remembering the wife of isaac rebecca you have to remember tamar also because tamar also is one of those who women of God in the scripture that was giving the grace to give back to twin hallelujah but initially everybody thought she was barren also the wife of Isaac initially she didn't have conception she did not have you know conception everybody would have believed that she is barren although the wife of Isaac her case wasn't even as bad as Tamar's case you know because Isaac did not die the only thing is that Isaac came to the Lord and pleaded with the Lord to remember his wife to remember his wife and the Lord remembered you know the wife of Isaac Rebecca somebody you will need to pray for your husband for God to cancel out that believable lie somebody you need to pray for your wife that God will cancel out the believable lie you see but Bible do not say that the husband of Tamar prayed for her so when he died when he died in fact bible said that the husband of tamar was wicked the husband of tamar was wicked a lot of people are watching the broadcast but go and study what the husband of tamar was doing god was angry with the husband of tamar that's why god did not even bless them with the fruit of the womb but how many would have known that the first husband of tamar was that wicked how would how many would have known unlike isaac that was praying for the wife unlike isaac that was lifting up his wife are you under the sound of my voice don't be judgmental concerning your spouse lift up your spouse before the mercy throne of god lift up your spouse before the mercy throne of god that the lord will have mercy that the lord will bring about you know an uncommon visitation that the lord will remember your spouse in mercy in mercy and in honor and in glory lift up your voice man of god are you with me lift up your voice man of god woman of god lift up your voice let god remember that household are you a parent remember your son remember your son remember your son right now remember your daughter lift them up before the mercy throne of God hallelujah Bible said that for your shame ye shall have double for your shame ye shall have double for your shame who is that person under the sound of my voice in Jesus name the Lord has promised double and yet you are yet to see that double from today let there be a manifestation of that double in your life not by might nor by power but by the spirit of the Lord let there be a manifestation station of that double in your life and for in the name of jesus christ he said and for the for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion therefore in the land they shall possess the double therefore in the land they shall possess the devil everlasting joy shall be upon them everlasting joy shall be upon them everlasting joy shall be upon them i prophesy over somebody today as you are lifting up your spouse before the lord may the mercy of god Kindle, may the mercy of God, kindle, may the mercy of God be attracted re with regards to your spouse that you're lifting up right now before the mercy throne of God in the name of Jesus Christ. May the man die agadalagaba. Oh, Sarah Gadalaba. Oh, Gale Mantali. Who is that person that has 
experience very, 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 very powerful shame. May the Lord also remember you such that you will experience powerful testimony, powerful turnaround. Tamar experienced powerful turnaround after the powerful believable lie. The Lord delivered her. The Lord delivered her. Somebody as you're calling upon the name of God today on this holy mountain. I see God delivering you. I see God rise up to the occasion and setting you free. Somebody put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. For my shame, for our shame, let there be double. For your shame, for my shame, for our shame, let there be double. For our shame, let there be double. Have mercy, O Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, O Lord, have mercy. For our shame, for your shame, for my shame, let there be double. 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 Let there be double, double. Let there be double in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody join me and say, Oh God, frustrate the tokens of liars in my life. Frustrate the tokens of liars. The liars can be human beings and the liars can be spirit. The liars can be human beings. The liars can, liars can be spirits. The liars can be human beings. They can be spirit. Oh Lord, frustrate the tokens of liars. Oh Lord, frustrate the tokens of liars in my life. Somebody join me. Oh Lord, frustrate the tokens of liars. Rasha Kata. Frustrate the tokens of what liars in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be double for anyone and everyone that has experienced what trouble. Let there be double for anyone, everyone that experienced trouble in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be double. Let there be double, double. Let there be double, double, double for anyone that have experienced any trouble in the name of Jesus Christ. Your eyes, your eyes and your heart, let it be focused on the Lord right now. Your eyes, your heart, let it be focused on the Lord right now. For a turnaround, let it be focused on God right now. For a turnaround, for a lifting up, for a lifting up, for a turnaround, let it be focused on the Lord right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be focused on the Lord right now. For a turnaround, Rasha Katali Pro, O Bare Katali Mosi, Manga Dalagade Matosi Kaba, Reba Baba Baba Dalibo. Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood of Jesus Christ, plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Any and every believable lie, the Lord who delivered time. The Lord who delivered Sarah, the Lord who delivered Rebecca, that God deliver you, that God deliver you, that God deliver you. Everyone would have thought that Rebecca would end up, you know, barren, but the Lord remembered Rebecca because of the prayer of of her spouse, because of the prayer of Isaac. The Lord remembered Rebecca because of your prayer today. The Lord can remember your husband because of your prayer the lord can remember your son because of your prayer in the name of jesus christ because of your prayer the lord can remember your husband because of your prayer the lord can remember your son believable lie any and every believable lie will command it in the name of jesus christ to be destroyed by fire by force to be destroyed by fire by force any and every believable lie holy spirit of god any and every believable lie holy ghost fire power holy ghost power fire holy ghost scatter destroy Holy Ghost destroy scatter. Holy Ghost uproot scatter. Ma shanta calibros. O zaka talibros zikaba. Rege deliga dalimo sikaba. Re bato. Rege delimo sikaba. E bratosi. Rabba baba. Your plans and purpose for my life, oh Lord, let it come to pass. There's somebody under the sound of my voice. I see God visit you with three babies at at the same time. You give back to your first, as you're giving back to your first, is going to be triplet. I see you giving back to three three babies at the same time even though everyone has seen you as being what going childless seeing you as what barren the lord changed your story today the lord changed your story today the lord give you a new beginning 
The Lord change your story today. The Lord give you a new beginning. The Lord change your story today. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are under the sound of my voice. Everybody is looking at you as one that would never ever. As one that is jobless. That will never find anything lucrative. I do not even see just getting jobs. I see God using you to create job opportunities for others. I see God using you to create job opportunities, to bring the destiny of many alive. I'm seeing God using you to bring the destiny of so many people to reality. That's how I see God using you in the name of Jesus Christ. I see God using you, bringing very, you know, very powerful destinies to lamb light. I see God doing this. For your shame, the Lord says he's going to give double. For your shame, there will be double. Are you ready for the double that God is about to launch through you, through your household? Are you ready for the double? For your shame, the Lord wants to bring about double, double, double. The Lord wants to bring about double, double, double for your shame. Man, dalagadayagaba. For your shame, maribare katoso. O zabeli katali. Man, deliketeli bantali. O kare bantali mo. For your shame, the Lord wants to give double. God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ma katali. Ibra lagada. Ma sagadalaba. Robake telimosi. Jeli bare keteli. The Lord is showing me somebody. Everyone is looking at you as a failure you are being looked at as a failure in the race of life but the lord has made you that is he formed you and he has he has established you only for it to manifest he established you someone that will mentor people to greatness that will mentor people into greatness into their 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 original vision of their life mentor them such that the original intention of God manifests for them. That's what I see the Lord shows me concerning you in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is this person under the sound of my voice? I say, I see, I see. I see the glory of God. I see, I see. I see the power of God. I see, I see. I see the glory of God, the power of God, the mercy of God in your life manifesting. Manifesting to the glory and honor of the name of God most high. Beyond what anybody could imagine or think. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tamar was assumed or Tamar was seen as one going barren. Nobody believed that Tamar in life could have children anymore until God was ready to deliver her. Somebody, <coughs> all the believable lie that has existed in your life. Somebody type the word deliverance to overturn believable lies. Deliverance to overturn believable lies. That's what God did in the life of Tamar. That's what God did in the life of Tamar. Deliverance to overturn believable lies. Deliverance to overturn the believable lies. I prophesy that deliverance that is able to overturn believable lies in your life. As the Lord remember Tamar, may the Lord remember you. As the Lord remember Tamar, may the Lord remember you. As the Lord remember Tamar, may the Lord remember you. May the Lord frustrate the tokens of liars in your life. May the Lord frustrate. May the Lord frustrate. May the Lord frustrate the tokens of liars in your life. As the Lord remember Tamar, may the Lord remember you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God make diviners mad in your life. May God make diviners mad in the life of your loved ones, in the life of your children, in the life of anyone and everyone that you represent on this holy mountain. May God make the diviners mad. May God overturn the, the liars, the lies of the enemy. The Lord overturn the lies of the enemy. May God deliver you, deliver me. May the Lord undo every what? Every believable lies. Tamar ended up being a mother, not just a mother, but a mother with a record of what twin. In Jesus' name, the Lord will not just give you any kind of blessing. He will give you a blessing that will make you stand out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deliverance we prophesy. So start to prophesy now as we start to round up this session. Start to prophesy in Jesus' name. Prophesy deliverance into the life of your children. Prophesy. Prophesy deliverance into the life of your business. Prophesy. Prophesy deliverance into the life of your marriage. Prophesy. Prophesy deliverance into the life of your, your husband, your spouse, your wife. 
prophesied deliverance into your family that, that the power of God will deliver you, deliver your household from what? From any form of sour grape. Household enemies. Sour grape. Household enemies. Powers that like to hold family, you know, or to, to, to take family backward in, in life and destiny. May the Lord deliver you, deliver your household, deliver your loved ones, deliver you, deliver your household, deliver. I cover you, I cover you with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you, Georgia Anavas. I cover you in the name of Jesus Christ. L. Johnson, I cover you with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you, KDR to S, with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover you. I cover you in Jesus' name. I cover you, V. Dam. I cover you with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you, Prince Sop will be with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you, I cover you. I cover you, Tone KH, with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you, Chibu a Christ, with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you, I cover you, I cover you, OG. O OG, I cover you with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you, O Van, with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you, O Van, with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you, High B, I cover you, High B, with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you, Prince Miracle Chibuze, I cover you with the power and blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you, Bright Chidara, with the power and blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you, Becky Okoko, with the power and blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you, I cover you, Engineer Obama, with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you, Orlando, with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Connie, O Isaac, I cover you with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Mrs. Akonji, I cover you with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you, I cover anyone, everyone. I cover you with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost power, Holy Ghost fire power. Holy Ghost fire power. Holy Ghost power fire. Have your way, O Lord. Maragaya Nalagaba. Have your way, O Lord. Mesha Ketelios. O Zandereba Katosa. Ibrale Ketelimosikaba. Endali Katalio. O Ragabababa. Ragabababa. I cover you with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I cover you with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost power fire. Holy Ghost fire power. I cover anyone, everyone. On that the sound of my voice with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Have your way, O Lord. Take control. Take control, O Lord. Have your way. Overturn anything and everything that is not in line with your will in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I cover anyone, everyone under the sound of my voice. Putting in prayer mandate. Putting in prayer, prayer. I cover you with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Today, Mirilla L. I cover you with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Receive deliverance, Mirilla L. Marsha Wilson, receive deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive deliverance every name that I've mentioned on this holy mountain. Receive deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ from any and every believable lie. Receive deliverance by fire, by force. Receive deliverance by the mercy of God. Receive deliverance by the fire of God, by the mercy of God, by the grace of God. Receive deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire, power. Holy Ghost, power, fire. Holy Ghost, have your way, take control. Holy Ghost, take control, have your way. Holy Ghost, have your way, take control. Holy Ghost, take control, have your way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Makata, rekababa, reshakatoso, libaleke telimusikaba. Deliverance from any and every believable life. Somebody in the name of Jesus Christ, as you start to round up, lift up your son, lift up your daughter, lift up your household member, cover them with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I see something great happening right now. Cover them right now with the power and the precious blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ. Cover with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ. Cover with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost, have your way, take control. Holy Ghost, take control, have your way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. We give you praise, we honor you. Thank you for everyone that's on this mountain. We give you praise. In Jesus' name. Every believable light will cancel with the power of the blood of Jesus. Every believable light will cancel with the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, so shall it be. In Jesus' name, so shall it be. In Jesus' name, so shall it be. So shall it be in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, O Lord God of mighty for your power for your presence for your glory thank you oh god for the deliverance you're bringing oh god our way we honor you in jesus name we have decreed amen somebody please join us as we prophesy deliverance from 
deliverance to undo believable lies deliverance deliverance to undo you want to help me type that word and prophesy it seven times deliverance to undo believable lies deliverance to undo believable lies deliverance to undo believable lies that's the first three deliverance to undo believable lies deliverance to undo believable lies deliverance to undo believable lies that's the second three deliverance to undo believable lies somebody receive that deliverance right now and may your deliverance be such that it will be rewarding you double for your trouble double for your trouble in the name of jesus christ double for your trouble double for your trouble that was the case of Re that was the case of um, rebecca the wife of isaac it was double for our trouble and that also is the case of tamar double for our trouble although her husband died although in the case of tamar her first husband died but the lord even though the second brother was given to marry her yet the lord made a way of escape for her her deliverance came from another source entirely not even the second one that was meant to even come and marry her the lord still made deliverance for her the lord i see is making deliverance for somebody the lord make a way of escape for you the lord make a way of escape for your household the lord make a way of escape for your business the lord make a way of escape for your son the lord make a way of escape for your daughter in the name of jesus christ e, e friday i soak you with the power and the blood of jesus christ I soak you with the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, Chibweze, Chris. I soak you, Prince Miracle Chibweze, in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody prophesy. Please prophesy with us deliverance to undo believable lies. It's on the screen. It's pinned to the wall. It's on the screen. It's, it's pinned to the wall in the name of Jesus Christ. It's pinned to the wall in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Double for our trouble. That's beautiful. Yes, double for our trouble. Praise God. But we are prophesying deliverance to undo believable lies deliverance to undo believable lies although you are in the spirit because the next prophecy we are going to lift up is what you have typed double for our trouble that's the next prophecy you are in the spirit obviously you are in the spirit that's the next prophecy but for now we are still prophesying what the holy spirit asks us to prophesy which is what we are prophesying deliverance to undo believable lies that's what we are prophesying deliverance to undo believable lies deliverance to undo believable lies deliverance to undo believable lies in the name of jesus christ and not just to undo it but the lord will be undoing it and giving you double for what double for your trouble the lord will be undoing it and giving you double for your trouble double for your trouble the lord will be undoing it and giving you what double for your trouble in the name of jesus christ praise god somebody very quickly if you were to explain the word double for your if you were to explain the word deliverance from or punish the devil punish 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 if you were to describe or explain the word deliverance to undo unbelievable lie deliverance how would you explain the word deliverance to undo deliverance to undo that power of god that is able to undo deliverance to undo if you were to explain the word deliverance to undo how would you explain the word deliverance to undo specifically how would you explain the word deliverance to undo because that's what god wants to achieve in you and in me if you were to explain the word deliverance to undo, how would you explain the word deliverance to undo? Everyone that is putting in prayer, putting in prayer, prayer, everyone that is winning a soul, the God who sees in the secret openly reward you. Eternity will not fail to reward you in Jesus' name. The God who sees in the secret reward you. Eternity will not fail to reward you in the name of Jesus Christ. The God who sees in the secret reward you. Eternity will not fail to reward you in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. How would you explain, man of God, how would you explain deliverance to undo? How would you explain deliverance to undo? Hallelujah. How would you explain the word deliverance to undo? Praise God. It can come in any form. It can come in any way. It doesn't have to take a particular pattern. But of course, it is deliverance. And the Lord has promised that somebody, you are going to get deliverance that will undo every believable lie. We're going to see very many examples. As the Holy Spirit opened my eye, I was, I was perplexed. I was perplexed. And the Lord said to start with the word Tamar. Because a lot of people... They are like mirror Tamar. They are living in a believable life. People are calling them the name that God did not attach to them. I mean, Tamar was seen as being childless, as being barren. 
But that was not the case at all. If not for deliverance that, that can undo. If not for the deliverance that can undo. That now made Tamar the mother of twin. That made Tamar the mother of twin. Two boys. You see, deliverance that can undo. Somebody, how would you explain that word? Deliverance that can undo. Deliverance to undo. Deliverance that can undo. Deliverance to undo. To make it simple, deliverance that, that to undo. Deliverance to undo. How would you explain the word deliverance to undo? The power of God that is able to turn your 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 mourning into dancing your shame your shame into what into what into fame your pain into gain that is it overturn i see that word overturn okay deliverance to undo overturn says l johnson beautiful word beautiful beautiful simple word overturn that's it overturn so today in jesus name you will receive that deliverance that can undo deliverance to undo you will receive it today deliverance to undo you will receive it today that deliverance that can on the overturn you will receive it today in jesus name deliverance to what deliverance to undo you will receive it today deliverance to undo you will receive it today that deliverance that can overturn in the name of jesus christ marsha tali bro ozaka tosika e bali katali mandiri bakatali divine exchange beautiful by 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 kdr 2s divine exchange that power of god that can bring about divine exchange divine exchange hallelujah that power of god that can bring about divine exchange how would you explain the word deliverance to undo how would you explain the word deliverance to undo to be free from pain to be free of pain says mirila L. God bless you, Mirila L. God bless you. That kind of deliverance that can bring about a turnaround, that can bring about a turnaround, that can bring about the grace to come out and be free. The grace to bring that can bring you out and turn things around. To be free of pain. Hallelujah. To be free of pain. Divine exchange. Divine exchange is going to take place today. Deliverance to undo. Divine exchange. And that believable lie concerning you and your household will be what? Overturned. Will be overturned in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody under the sound of my voice, praise God. Somebody under the sound of my voice, please type the word double for our trouble double for our trouble that's what i see god doing double for your trouble for my trouble double for our trouble very quickly double for our trouble let's quickly see what the spirit of god is going to as you prophesy double for our trouble let's first prophesy this time nine times because quite a number of people are going through too many things even some don't even they don't even know what to do about themselves anymore but god who sees where no one sees, will overturn today and grant you double for your trouble. All that pain you have gone through, all that pain, all that disappointment, all that situation you have experienced, the Lord grant unto you double for your trouble. Double for your trouble. Double for your trouble. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord grant unto you. The Lord have mercy. The Lord grant unto you double for your trouble. Double for your trouble. Somebody prophesied double for your trouble. I'm going to do it nine times to cover everyone on the mountain. Double for our trouble, double for our trouble, double for our trouble. Double for our trouble, double for our trouble, double for our trouble. Double for our trouble, double for our trouble, double for our trouble. And that makes it nine times for anyone, for everyone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please make sure you put in double for our trouble. If you can do it nine times or seven times as the Spirit of the Lord leads you. Double for our trouble. I see God granting somebody double, double for any and every trouble any trouble every trouble every believable lie the lord overturn in your life any and every believable lie the lord overturn the lord uproot the lord scatter any and every believable lie any and every believable lie the lord overturn the lord overturn the lord destroy in jesus name any and every believable lie rabba gaba zagadoso Tell me, Bale Kandali, Ibrale Batosukaba, 
Upare ke telimoso. Jan deli karandani. Osaka baba baba. Libra la gadamo si karaba. Te kalienda. Riba koso. Ruba baba baba. Shantali makete. Shantali makete liye. Ibra ke le batoso. Ika pronza kete liye. Rabanda. Ibra no si karaba. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you everyone that have been typing double for our trouble. Double for our trouble. Double for our trouble. Somebody please, how would you explain the word double for our trouble? very quickly how would you explain the word double for our trouble double for our trouble how would you explain double for our trouble very quickly how would you explain the word double for our trouble how would you explain the word double for our trouble very quickly in the name of Jesus Christ how would you explain the word double for our trouble shala gada lagaba rikaba dalabos osaka toso ibra likatali libanda likatoso Oraga ba 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 ba, double for our trouble. How would you explain the word double for our trouble in the name of Jesus Christ? How would you explain double for our trouble? Laton zaketeli, ibarekete mosikaba, o baraga ba ba ba, double for our trouble. La katai balika, la bakatali mosi, jege deli bakatozo, o braleke telimo, double for our trouble in the name of Jesus Christ. How would you explain the word double for our trouble? Manda ke balikatoso, manda ke balikatoso, o sara balikateli bantali, double for our trouble. How would you explain man of God? How would you? How would you explain woman of God? How would you? Double for our trouble, double for our trouble. How would you explain God punish the devil? Punish, punish, punish. God punish the devil, punish, punish, punish. God punish the devil, punish, punish, punish. It can only be God. Double for our trouble. How would you explain the word double for our trouble very quickly? In the name of Jesus Christ. I soak you. I soak anyone, everyone on this holy mountain. Everyone putting in prayer. Amen. I receive. I claim it. Everyone that is putting in prayer, prayer, prayer. Everyone that is typing. I soak you with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I soak your entire household. Anyone you represent on this mountain also. I soak with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. The word is double for our trouble. How would you explain the word double for our trouble? How would you explain the word double for our trouble in the name of Jesus Christ? How would you explain the word double for our trouble? Ma shanta ke libratalio. Ma shanta ke libratalio. Double for our trouble. How would you explain the word double for our trouble in the name of Jesus Christ? How would you explain the word double for our trouble? Ma katali bantali. Ma katali bantali. Ma katali bantali. Rabba ke telimoso kaba. Rabba ke telimoso. Uzali bantali. Rabba ba ba ba. Double for our trouble. How would you explain the word double for our trouble? God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. Double for our trouble. How would you explain? Plain, in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone putting in prayer, everyone. Everyone putting in prayer, prayer. Anyone, everyone. Everyone putting in prayer, prayer, prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God, the mercy of God. The mercy of God, the power of God. Ma lagadayagaba. Ma shantali brakete lios. O zakato sikaba. Double for your trouble. Keep on putting it, putting it. Keep on typing, keep on typing. Let the power of God, let the glory of God, let the mercy of God. Double for your trouble. Shala gadayagaba. Double for your trouble. Man teriba katosi. I deli ma katosa kayaba. Man drali, man takatoso. O rabababa. Double for our trouble. It's most blessings says L. Johnson, more blessings, more blessings, that is more and more for the shame, for the pain, more than we prayed for, says Mirila L. The blessings that will come more than what we intended, more than what we had in mind, more than what we perceived. Hallelujah. Double for our trouble. How would you explain the word double for our trouble? I see God bringing about double for any and every trouble, for any and every trouble, double for any and every trouble. How how would you how would you expand the word double for any and every trouble double for any and every trouble how would you expand that word double for our trouble in the name of jesus christ how would you expand the word double for our trouble god punish the devil punish 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 double for your trouble double for my trouble double for our trouble the power of god the honor of god the glory of god in the name of jesus christ Praise God. More blessings, says L. Johnson. 
more than what we prayed for, says Marilla, Marilla L. Praise God, more than what we prayed for. Beyond expectation, the Lord has a way of compensating those who faithfully serve Him, those who serve in spirit and in truth. The Lord has a way of compensating. How would He explain the word double for our trouble? I soak anyone, everyone, everyone, anyone pleading the blood, everyone saying amen, everyone putting in prayer, prayer, everyone in Jesus' name typing and standing in the gap for family members i see deliverance i see deliverance to undo believable lies in the name of jesus christ i see deliverance to undo believable lie double for our trouble how would you explain the word double for our trouble as we leave that particular prophecy and we enter into another in the name of jesus christ double for our trouble how would you explain the word double for our trouble Double for our trouble, Masha Katali, Ibra Lema Katoso, O Zantere Ban Kantali Bantali, Mare Katalios, O Rababa formed it to establish it, was what we read earlier on. Formed it to establish it because God has formed you and God has a purpose and plan in mind, He intends to establish. Okay, Masha Wilson, great reward. Okay, double for our trouble. Masha Wissi is saying great reward because we serve the great rewarder. Great reward because we serve the word great rewarder in the name of Jesus Christ. Formed it to establish it. Formed it to establish it. More than we can think of, says Mirilla L. Double for our trouble. More than we can think of. More than we can think of. Double for our trouble. Okay, double for our trouble. Double for our trouble. Somebody please type the type the word my helper. My helper. My helper. If myself and you fail to see God as our helper, in some cases deliverance might not come for believable life. Because the only person who can correct a believable lie in your life and in my life is God Almighty. And you have to follow the plan. Some of us don't understand that God has a plan. Like he said in Jeremiah 33 verse 2, he has a plan. He formed it to establish it. He has a plan for you and for me. Somebody join me and type the word, my helper. Praise God, my helper. Double for your trouble. Masha Wilson is, is telling us another way to see double for our trouble is restoration. God bless you. Now we are looking at the word, my helper. You want to prophesy that word, my helper, nine times. My helper, my helper, my helper. My helper, my helper, my helper. My helper, my helper, my helper. If not for God, who was the helper of Tamar, Genesis 38. If you have the time, you can study the life of Tamar, Genesis 38. If not for God, who, who, dis, who appeared and assisted Tamar, if not for Tamar's helper, which was God, Tamar will die and be referred to as barren or childless, if not for God. Okay, our helper is the only one that can deliver us that can deliver us from believable lies some we believe over we believe it about ourselves some people believe it concerning us some that is the belief the powers of darkness are projected concerning us but only our helper can destroy every believable lie in this capacity deliverance to undo believable lie can only come from our helper somebody type the word my helper somebody type the word my helper you are under the sound of my voice your business looks like you know it looks like in it looks it's like in shambles but do you know that that's a believable lie because god will be using your business very soon to establish other people's businesses and destiny you see, but only the helper can tell you the way out. Only the helper can tell you how to escape. If not for the mercy of God, we, the enemy wants us to believe that Jesus can never come from the grave. Jesus can never, you know, resurrect. But you see, the helper knew what he was doing. When the helper was ready, when he sent the Holy Spirit, Romans chapter 8 verse 11, the quickening spirit, the quickening spirit lifted up the body of Christ. And even at that, they started to propagate a believable lie. They say, let us lie that the disciple came and stole his body. That a disciple came and stole his body. But the Lord did not allow that lie to, be, to take root. To take root. That the body was stolen by his disciple. That the body was stolen. The body was stolen by his disciple. That was the believable lie that, that the powers of darkness 
through the community wanted to push out that the body of Jesus was stolen. But when people started to see Jesus physically, because of the helper, because of the helper that intervened, then that light did not stand. Hallelujah. Somebody please type the word my helper. My helper. My helper. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My helper. Thank you, Jesus. My helper. Thank you, Jesus. My helper. Hallelujah. My helper. Thank you, Jesus. My helper. Ma shantalimos kaba bari katalios. Ma shantalimasake na shantalimos kaba reke delimos kaba. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Ragga baba ba reke telimosi kaba. Ragga baba ba reke telimosi kaba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ma shantalios. Thank you, Jesus. Rakandalia mishaye katalios. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody under the sound of my voice, how would you explain the word my helper? How would you explain the word my helper? How would you explain the word my helper? Rakandaye bakatoso. Mosake bali katali. How would you explain the word my helper? God punish the devil, punish, punish, punish. How would you explain the word my helper? Ma shantalimo. Hindrele ketelio sa katali. Rabba ketelimo sikaba. The Lord did not allow the evil plot of the enemy, the lie of the enemy consigning the resurrection of the birth of Jesus Christ to stand. That is what God alone can do. Only the helper can nullify some believable lies. Some believable lies. They have a way of, pro of propounding it. But the Lord has a way of annulling it. May the Lord annul every, every believable lie. May the Lord deliver you from it in Jesus' name. You see, they wanted people to believe that the body of Jesus Christ was stolen by his disciples. That's why he's no more in position. But because the Lord permitted Jesus to move and walk about and appear to disciples, that lie was destroyed. Somebody today, the Lord deliver you. The Lord deliver me. The Lord deliver us from every believable lie put together by anyone, even including yourself. May the Lord bring about deliverance to, to undo believable lies. How would you explain the word, my helper? Okay, my helper, Mirila L is using the word deliverer, my deliverer. L Johnson is using the word, my keeper, my helper, my keeper. How would you explain the word, my helper? How would you make it unique to, make it unique the way you are going to explain it, make it unique. How would you explain the word, my helper, my helper? There's going to be an eye opening very soon and you will see what the Spirit of the Lord has to say concerning me and you. Hallelujah. You will soon see, man of God, you will soon see, woman of God. You will soon see, praise God, my helper, praise God, meaning our divine assistance. Thank you, Marsha Wilson. She's, she's explaining the word, my helper, as divine assistance. Divine assistance. Divine assistance. One that is able to to sort us out, to sort things out for us. Hallelujah. Divine assistance. Thank you, Jesus. My helper, meaning my our divine assistance. My helper, meaning our divine assistance. Divine assistance. Divine assistance. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Divine assistance. Divine assistance. Divine assistance. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Divine assistance. In Jesus name how would you explain the word my helper will take one or two more response and we'll move on hallelujah my helper how would you explain the word my helper how would you explain the word my helper woman of God woman of God how would you explain the word my helper God punish the devil punish 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 how would you explain the word my helper very quickly in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God is here the mercy of God is here the glory of God is here Make it unique the, the much you can. Make it unique the best way you can. In the name of Jesus Christ. The best way you can. Make it unique. In the name of Jesus Christ. Provider. Provider. I see that. God bless you. My provider. Provider says L. L. Johnson. Provider. Standing in the gap says Marshall Wilson. My helper. Standing in the gap. Standing in the gap. One that shows compassion. I understand you. KDR 2 S. God bless you, man. One that shows compassion, says KDR to S. One, one that shows compassion. One that shows compassion. God bless you. 
one that shows compassion we are looking at the word my helper one that shows compassion provider one that stands in the gap standing in the gap beautiful reactions praise god hallelujah praise god praise god hallelujah praise god somebody judge me as you start to plead the blood plead the blood plead the blood Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood. Standing in the gap, praise God. Standing in the gap for. Standing in the gap for. Standing in the gap for. Praise God. We're going to pray one simple prayer. As God was able to move quickly to, to destroy the evil plans of the enemy in the life of Tamar, Genesis chapter 38, she would have died. Everybody would have believed that she is barren or she is childless but the lord made a way of escape somebody pray with me and say lord make a way of escape for me make a way of escape for my son make a way of escape for my family member to fight for says Marsha wilson my strength says l johnson my savior says marilla l so now putting all this together let us call on our helper it was the helper that made a way for tamar if not tamar would have been perceived to be a barren woman would have been perceived to be you know one that is childless but the lord after her husband died it's unfortunate that the husband had to die but bible said that the husband was wicked the wicked the husband was wicked the lord saw the husband as a wicked husband so when he died then the lord made a way of escape somebody joined me and said lord make a way of escape make a way of escape that will turn around every believable lie make a way of escape that will bring about deliverance to undo believable lie make a way of escape at the end of the day it was not even the second husband that was given to her officially that was the way of escape the lord made another way of escape everybody was looking at her as being somebody who was an harlot somebody who committed you know harlotry but at the end of the day she was justified the way of escape that god gave to her made her justified and everybody said that she was justified because she was abandoned she was abandoned she was left there the lord made a way of escape for her in the name of jesus christ somebody tell the lord join me as you tell the lord to make a way of escape make a way of escape from every believable lie make a way of escape make a way of escape from make a way of escape from every believable lie in the name of jesus christ maka bad dalios o zaka ban talios kaye raga bad dali man taliba e drele ke telimosi re ka baba ba dali ko saliban talie kaya dali rabba baba o sake telimosi ka ba jake telie o zake telimosi ka ba o rabba ba ibale ko zika ba e bo ka ba dalios o rabba baba la dele ke telie risha telimosi Sikaba, Rabban Delicatalius, O Brale Cayen Dalicatali, in the name of Jesus Christ, Mang Zakabo Sikaba, O Baco Sali, O Baco Saki, Mikeli Bantalius, Jobalion Zakatali Mosi, O Rababa Mantalimo Sekali, Roca Bandalimo Sikaba Tali, O Rababa La Delicatelli, O Rababa Saketelius, O Rababa Matelibo Zikaba, Matelibo Zikaba Tali, Matelibo. Zikaba, a Bali can tell you, are you with me, man of God? Are you with me? Are you with me, woman of God? Are you with me? In the name of Jesus Christ, my helper, deliver me from any and every word, any believable lie. As you deliver Tamar, as you made a way of escape, oh Lord, by fire, by force, make a way of escape for me. Make a way of escape for me. In the name of Jesus Christ. I understand quite well. I understand quite well that some people under the sound of my voice you must have gone through almost the same experience as tama or even a, a, a slightly different but the lord your helper the lord my helper is present to help is present to set you free is present to turn your story around is present to lift you up is present to to endorse his purpose and plan in your life and in my life. Hallelujah. He's able and he's faithful and just. He can do it. If only I will allow him, you will allow him. In the name of Jesus Christ, make a way of escape. Adonai, make a way. In the name of Jesus Christ, make a way of escape. Adonai, make a way. Make a way of escape. Adonai, make a way. In the name of Jesus Christ, make a way. Maragadalaba. Make a way in the name of Jesus Christ. I love this. Somebody say, make a way, build a road in the wilderness. Make 
you know, rivers in the desert. Beautiful quotation from the book of Isaiah. Hallelujah. Make a way, O Lord, as you made a way for Tamar. Make a way as you made a way for Tamar. Somebody, you have to be fervent in the place of prayer. If not, how, you see, the first husband could not achieve the purpose of God in the life of Tamar. The second one could not achieve but the Lord made a way of escape. Let me explain what I mean by the purpose of God, Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Every man under the sound of my voice, every woman under the sound of my voice, God has planned for you. It says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, for I know the thoughts, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace, thoughts of peace. Another version says thoughts of good, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end thought of peace not of evil thought of peace not of evil to give you an expected end to give you an expected end thoughts of peace not of evil thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end may god grant everyone under the sound of my voice an expected end may god grant you an expected end in the name of jesus christ god says he knows the thoughts that he thinks towards you and me he's not planning to think he already knows the thoughts in the name of jesus christ again if you look at isaiah 55 verse 8 the thoughts or the plans of our helper is very clear the thoughts the plans of our helper is very clear jeremiah 29 verse 11 he's very clear with his thoughts towards you and so that's why he will help me and you overcome every believable lie isaiah 55 verse 8 says and i quote isaiah 55 verse 8 isaiah 55 verse 8 it says for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither your ways my ways said the lord okay your thoughts are not my thoughts neither my ways your ways said the lord for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts my ways higher than your ways my thoughts than your thoughts so god is not contemplating he already has a plan for you and for me but there are some powers that will not allow this plan be and that's why our helper will move into the into, into the midst will move into the bracket and deliver you and deliver me and deliver you and deliver me god is not contemplating i've just shown you in isaiah 55 verse 8 and 9 he says i i the thoughts my thoughts are higher than your thoughts my ways higher than your ways as the heaven is far from the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts even superior to your thoughts somebody tell, tell the lord right now oh lord oh lord my god my god my rock my rock my god make a way of escape for me make a way make a way of escape for me make a way in the name of jesus christ bless your word for us and let it come oh god with power and with glory in the name of jesus christ amen 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 so shall it be in jesus name amen praise god there are many people under the sound of my voice there is this stigmatization the enemy is trying to project about you there's this believable lie the enemy is trying to project about you but the lord has something contrary to that believable lie praise the lord the enemy is projecting a lie concerning you let's take for example the life of peter if not for the helper that delivered him just imagine the believable lie that was projected concerning peter okay we have looked at tamar i'm going to look at another physical example then i come to the spiritual and then we would start to pray for ourselves okay so before i come to the person of uh, peter which is going to be depicting both physical spiritual let's i've started with the physical let's go to another physical then we'll move to somebody that will be showing physical and spiritual then we'll go to another person that is going to show again physical and spiritual ironically the first two examples will be female female and then the second example god permitting will be male male okay so the first female we talked about tamar and tamar you have the history or the account of tamar you have the history and account of tamar in the book of genesis 38 if you were to read genesis 38 you would see there that if not for the mercy of God, everybody would have seen Tamar as a woman that is barren. Everyone would have seen Tamar as a woman that would go childless. Okay? But God, the helper, came and delivered her from that. The first husband could not achieve the plans of God as Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. 
Jeremiah 29 verse 11 and Isaiah 55 verse 8 and 9. Isaiah 55 verse 8 and 9. Isaiah 55 verse 8 and 9. The first husband could not achieve that. The second husband that was betrothed to her could not even achieve that also. Until God made a way of escape. The way of escape, she went and disguised somewhere. She disguised as an, another person. And Judah came into her. And she was smart enough to collect evidences from Judah. If not she would have faced the law of the culture where she was married into. By the time they found out that she was pregnant, the same Judah came, they called a meeting, family meeting, and said, no, what you have done is wrong. They forgot that she got married to the first, to the second, and then they are no more, and she's just there abandoned. Somebody under the sound of my voice. Every vision of your life that is abandoned, every vision of your life abandoned, may the Lord deliver you from any abandoned project, abandoned vision, abandoned destiny that wants to bring about evil, believable lies concerning you. The woman would have just been left there. After all, the first husband passed on. The second husband, where is he? And now look at her. They, they just abandoned her. But this woman, everybody looking at her barren, everybody looking at her, you know, not able to conceive. But you see, the mercy of God sought her out. The mercy of God made a way of escape for her. And when she, she was summoned up to the meeting, she said, the owner of this staff and the owner of these things, they, they is the person who got me pregnant. And everybody knew that she was justified because of course, as a woman married to that family, the benefit and the blessings of God in her life is to carry offsprings. But when God will visit Tamar, this is the joy of it. God did not visit Tamar for one. God visited Tamar with two. Tamar had double for her trouble. Tamar had fulfillment of Isaiah 61 verse 7. Somebody under the sound of my voice. When your helper is going to appear, when your helper will come for you, when your helper will stretch forth hand of mercy and love towards you. My prayer in the name of Jesus Christ is that by the grace of God, by the mercy of God, by the glory of God, may you receive double for your trouble. As Tamar received double for her trouble, may you receive double for your trouble in the name of Jesus Christ. May you receive double for your trouble as Tamar received double for her trouble. May you receive double for your trouble, I decree in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ. May you receive double for your trouble. May you receive double for your trouble in the name of Jesus Christ. And may the Lord make a way of escape for you. May the Lord make a way of escape for you. May the Lord make a way of escape for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody that would have been seen as barren, somebody that would have been seen as being childless, at the end of the day, the Lord gave double. The Lord gave Perez and gave Zera unto her. Two sons, two sons from zero to two straight away. Somebody, I see God changing your level from zero to hero, from zero to hero. The Lord is delivering you and delivering your household and anyone you're standing in the gap for from what? From believable lies. Deliverance to undo believable lies. Only the helper can do that. Come with me to the book of Joshua chapter 6. Second example, Joshua chapter 6. We're looking at carnal, physical, physical. Then we enter into another example that will show physical, spiritual, physical, spiritual. Praise God. Okay, Joshua chapter 6. Are you there in Joshua chapter 6? Come and see what the sovereign Lord will, will bring to your notice and bring to my notice as we peruse Joshua chapter 6. Joshua chapter 6, somebody tap Joshua chapter 6. We're going to be looking at verse 22, 22 all the way down. We're going to look at 22 all the way down to 26. 22 all the way down to 26. 22 all the way down to 26. Joshua chapter 6. Joshua chapter 6. 22 all the way down to 26. All the way down to 26 in the name of Jesus Christ. Joshua chapter what? Joshua chapter 6. Joshua chapter 6 is, is having a record of another woman. Another woman that everybody had a believable lie. A believable lie. They did not see her in the way God planted her. They did not see her. Anybody who sees you outside what God has planted you is telling a lie about your life. Because the true you is the thoughts and the plans of God for your life. Another person is this woman in, in what? In the book of Joshua chapter 6. Everybody believed something completely different concerning her. Everyone saw her as a harlot. Everyone saw her as a harlot. But the original plan of God for her life, she's a deliverer. 
She's a deliverer. She is enlisted among those that God used as deliverers. She is a deliverer. But everybody physically knew her as a harlot. Everybody stigmatized her as a harlot. In fact, if not for the wisdom of God that, that God gave to Tamar, Tamar would have been considered also a harlot. But because of the wisdom of God, the Lord gave her honor. The Lord gave her honor, not only that God gave her double for her trouble, the Lord gave her honor in the family of her husband. And now look at this other person again. Everybody was calling her and perceiving her. In fact, even in the Bible, they refer to her as the harlot, Rahab the harlot, Rahab the prostitute or Rahab the harlot. That's how they were calling her. But the real original thoughts of God for her life, the Jeremiah 33 verse 2 of her life, Jeremiah 33 verse 2 of her life, the Jeremiah 29 of verse 11 of her life, the Jeremiah 29 verse 11 of her life, the Isaiah 55 verse 8 and 9 of her life, Isaiah 55 verse 8 and 9 of her life is, is that she's a deliverer. That's the true person that she is. But that was not the case in her community. In the community, they saw something different about her. They had a different perception about her. They even stigmatized her with that believable lie. It's a lie because that's not what God created her to be. That's not what God saw her as. Somebody under the sound of my voice, I don't know how people have perceived you. I don't know how people are seeing you. I don't know the name that you've been stigmatized with. But may the Lord command his purpose to come to pass in your life. May the helper help. May the helper deliver you. May the helper command a deliverance from that believable life. May there be a deliverance today. That would that will record in your physical, spiritual, emotional life that will overturn every believable life. Okay, Joshua chapter 6, verse 22. But Joshua had said unto the two men that had spied out the country, Go into the harlot's house. Can you imagine? They call her house the harlot's house. But the harlot's house that preserved several generations. The harlot's house that was not destroyed. All other houses were destroyed. Is this house really a harlot's house? This house must have a better connotation spiritually than a harlot's house. But physically, this is the believable lie. It was called the harlot's house. Yet it was the house that preserved generation. Yet it was the house that did not suffer, you know, that did not suffer attack when other places were attacked it was it did not suffer you know it did not suffer shame when other places suffer shame but they called it the house of the hallowed hallelujah so he said go into the house of the hallowed and bring out thence the woman and all that she had as you swore unto her see how can somebody swear to an hallowed you see how can somebody make covenant with an hallowed definitely if you check the scriptures where the names of deliverers were mentioned, Rahab's name appeared there. That's to show you that that is the true definition of her life. That is the true person God created her to be. She ended up being that person because of the help of what? The helper. May the helper come true for you. May the helper come through for your family. May the helper come through for your son, for your daughter. May the helper come through and make you into whom he has intended you to be. May the helper have mercy upon you. May the helper have mercy upon you. May the helper make a way for you where there seems to be no way in the name of Jesus Christ. I say may the helper make a way for you. May the helper make a way for you. May the helper make a way for you where there seems to be no way in Jesus name. And the young men that, swore, that were spies went in and brought out Rahab and her father and her mother, her brother and all that she had and they brought out all her kindred and left them without the camp of Israel. Can you imagine? This same person called Harlot have just done the job of what? A deliverer. <coughs> This person called Harlot have just done the work, job of a what? A deliverer because of her because of the way of escape God made for her and her household, she delivered not only, she was able to deliver not just herself, but the Lord used her to deliver father, mother, brethren, hallelujah. The Lord used her to deliver brethren and all her kindred, all her kindred, 
all our kindred but this person was meant to be a harlot some people would have said i can never enter the house of a harlot but you see the lord used a harlot here as a deliverer because that is the original plan and mandate of god for our life verse 25 joshua saved rahab the harlot alive can you imagine the stigmatization even the bible still puts it there you see God, this was what was physically seen but this was not the spiritual nomenclature of this person this was not the spiritual description of this person and joshua saved herab uh, um, rahab i mean to say joshua saved rahab the harlot and her father's household and all that she had and she dwelt in israel even unto this day because she hid the messengers which joshua sent to spy out jericho and joshua ad adjured them at that time saying cursed be the man before the lord that rise that riseth up and buildeth this city jericho he shall lay the foundation thereof in his firstborn and in his youngest son shall he set up the gates of the city now god used this woman to save a whole kindred but this woman was seen as what as not good enough was seen as what not good enough was seen as a harlot but is she really a harlot no she is she really the person the harlot god created her to be no the lord created her to be a deliverer are you under the sound of my voice what name are you bearing that god did not did not attach to your destiny that is not included in the jeremiah 29 of your life what name are you bearing may the lord make that name equal to zero May the Lord destroy that name by the kind of result he will bring about in your life. I say may the Lord destroy in Jesus' name that name by the kind of result he will bring about in your life. By the result God brought about in Rahab's life, nobody, nobody would have thought of a, 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 a harlot's house to remain standing while other houses were brought down, while other walls were coming down. It was the house of so-called, in quote, somebody referred to as a harlot. But you see, the disciples that were sent to spy the land made a covenant with her, and that's why Bible used the word swore. The disciples swore unto her that God will preserve her and preserve her household. And the Lord made it that she was able to save her father, save her mother, save her brethren and her kindred. Somebody under the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus Christ any and every believable lie consigning your life in the name of Jesus Christ any and every believable lie may the Lord send a helper may the Lord send Joshua may the Lord send the spies whoever God will use may they not be far from you remember God will not come from heaven to change or to undo or to bring about deliverance in your life when God saved the Rahab, the Lord saved the Rahab through the spies who made a covenant with her who swore. And they went back and told Joshua and Joshua also locked him. God did not come from heaven to bring about that deliverance. Remember the last broadcast we talked about preaching deliverance. This, this particular deliverance was done by just mere words. <coughs> this deliverance was done by mere words. nothing physical was involved nothing physical it was just mere words they swore unto her and the lord honored that statement that was made hallelujah the lord honored that statement that was made by the two spies that went back to tell joshua you see that in verse 22 joshua chapter 6 as ye have sworn unto her as ye have sworn they made a covenant i'm just trying to tell you that when we say my helper psalms chapter 30 verse 10 when we say my helper god almighty coming he might not come physically but you come through somebody you don't choose that person he is the one that will send that person to you right now god is using people to pray for people god sent them to pray for them so God is sending some people share this broadcast. God is using them to send deliverance to somebody. I'm just trying to say that you might not physically see God, but it will be God through the person. Because these two spies made a vow to this woman. This woman was saved based on the vow or the promise that was made, that, that they swore unto her and the Lord honored it. And the Lord kept it. The Lord make it, made it a reality for her. The Lord will make it yours a reality also as you put your confidence and trust in the lord in the name of jesus christ as you put your confidence and trust in the lord in the name of jesus christ 
Bible said that Joshua saved Rahab the harlot alive, her father's household, and all that she had. Now the question is, was it Joshua who saved her? No, it was God through Joshua. We need to understand this. I'm saying that when my helper will manifest, he will manifest through somebody. And he manifests through the words of Joshua because Joshua commanded that they should go and bring that woman that was that they swore to verse 22 go and bring her and the young men you know that went to spy the land brought out rahab her father her mother her brethren you know and all her kindred and brought them without the camp you see go and bring the person deliverance by the words of our mouth the words of our mouth are powerful and because joshua was able to put himself in agreement with Jeremiah 29 verse 11, Isaiah 55 verse 8 and 9, the thoughts and plan of God. Look at what God did to Joshua also. The Lord honored Joshua. Somebody, when God used you to deliver, when God used you to bring about deliverance, when God, he will reward you. God will reward you. If God uses you to sow into somebody's life, to bless somebody's life, to pray for somebody, to prophesy to somebody, you do not go unrewarded. Once you make yourself available, he will also reward you. Look at what God did to Joshua in Joshua chapter 6 verse 27. Joshua chapter 6 verse 27. So the Lord was with Joshua and his fame was noised throughout all the city. God was with Joshua. Somebody that God is using to to deliver someone now are you praying for someone are you standing in the gap are you prophesying that's why it's good to do stand in the gap on behalf of standing the gap as god in the life of somebody let god use you because there is a reward there is a reward for anyone that make themselves available for god to use them for anyone that make themselves available for god to through them deliver somebody through them lift up somebody through them you know turn things around for somebody as you're making yourself available right now the lord will surely reward you bible said that the lord rewarded joshua i see god rewarding you i see god rewarding you i see god rewarding anyone and everyone under the sound of my voice that is putting in prayer 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 everyone that is standing in the gap for family for loved ones rahab god rewarded and i know god will reward you in the name of jesus christ your labor will not be in vain your labor will not be in vain the fame of joshua was noised was noised all over throughout the city and so also will the lord announce you the lord will announce you announce your family members in the name of jesus christ so that is example of tamar and that is example of what that's example of tamar and rahab the lord who made a way of escape for tamar make a way of escape for you the Lord who make a way of who made a way of escape for Tamar make make a way of escape for you. The Lord who made a way of escape for Tamar make a way of escape for you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord who made a way of escape for Tamar make a way of escape for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Maragada lagaba ebreke telimosi kaba rabba katoso kaba endeli bare katoso o salema katalie. Now let's look at, we've seen example of Tamar and the example of Rahab. Now let's see another example and a very, very important example, the life of Peter. Somebody come with me in Jesus' name to the book of Luke. The, we are looking at the life of Peter. We want to look into the book of Peter. So come with me to the book of Luke. Hallelujah. Come with me to the book of Luke. We want to look into the life of Peter. God punished the devil, punish, punish, punish. We want to look at the life of Peter. I, I, I'm a, I truly would have loved to read line upon line, but I pray that this time that I have on this broadcast will be enough to accommodate me to read line upon line of all what God is, is about to communicate to the church, you know. But let's see, Luke chapter 22 from verse, from verse 49. Uh, let me paraphrase and I might just read some verses unto us, okay? I might just read some verses unto us. But from 49, it said, When they which were about saw what would follow, they said unto the Lord, Shall we smite with, with the sword? However, verse 50, one, one of them smote the servant of the high priest and cut off his ears. Verse 51, Jesus said, Jesus answered and said, Suffer ye thoughts far suffer ye thoughts far and he touched the ear and healed the ear 
he touched the ear and healed the ear then jesus said unto the chief priests and the captains of the temple and the elders which were come to to him be ye come out as against a thief with swords and with you know with staffs be ye come out you know be ye come out as against a thief with sword and with staffs when i was daily with you in the temple ye stretched forth no hand against me but this is your hour and the power of darkness this is your hour and the power of darkness this is your hour and the power of darkness what that means is this is your hour and this is the hour of the power of darkness i would be explaining that right now now looking at verse verse 49 the enemy wanted to make a believable lie about peter peter is not a killer peter is not a killer peter is meant to be an apostle if not for the helper if not for the mercy of god peter would have killed that person and then some people would have found a legitimate reason for christians to kill also they would have been able to justify the killing of somebody you see even the the cutting of the ear jesus suffered him not to do that jesus said no don't do that jesus said no don't do that jesus healed the ear back the ear went back to what it used to be meaning god did not even permit all those all those kind of things to be a way of life for us jesus did not permit it at all just imagine the same peter that jesus spoke about in matthew chapter 16 i'm going to read before we round up the life of peter you are going to see that Jesus said about Peter, he said, upon this rock, I will build my church. This is the same Peter. Upon the rock, I will build my church. But the enemy wanted to float a believable lie, a lie that will now change the course of Jeremiah 29 verse 11, Jeremiah 33 verse 2, and of course, Isaiah 55 verse 8 and 9 of the life of Peter. He wanted to change it completely. He would have made a, a Peter a murderer or would have made him a killer. That's why he wanted to stigmatize him with that or stigmatize the church with such reputation. And mind you, Peter was meant to be the foundation, the rock of the church, that the express when you look at the life of Peter, then you can see what the church that will come, you know, through the blood of Jesus Christ will look like or depict. That was it. Upon that foundation, Jesus says the church will be built. That is the kind of believable lie the enemy wanted to bring, if not for the deliverance that came from the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord said, no, suffer it not to be so. No, and put back the ear. So, corrected that that stigmatization corrected that impression somebody under the sound of my voice i don't know what the enemy wants to push you to do in one moment of anger in one moment of annoyance in one moment of vexation the enemy want to push you okay if people are saying this about me then i'd rather be that oh if this or this or that or why can this happen to my father how can this happen to my mother how can this happen to my family how can this happen to my business if that is the case i've been trying to live legitimately and trying to live right now this is it i'm not going to do what other people are doing please don't change the course of your life do not allow call upon your helper jesus came at the nick of time to help peter call on jesus to help you at the peak at the nick of time some people can be pushed to the wall i mean peter was pushed to the wall here he i mean anybody who call himself defense jesus said no no this is beyond self-defense this that you're about to do now would bring about a believable lie not only about you but about the church that i will use uh, that god will be building through you as an apostle no 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 don't do that somebody under the sound of our voice receive deliverance instantly as you're listening to me instantly over any believable lie that your anger want to push you into that your emotions want to put you into that the people of the world want to push you into in the name of jesus christ may you never dance to that believable lie may the way of escape be readily available unto you and your household in the name of Jesus Christ. I say may the way of escape be readily available unto you and your household in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus said something here that some of us don't know, but Jesus was able to know because he was the son of God. He said it was, it was the hour 
it was the hour this is your hour that is the hour of those people who wanted to make or bring about a believable you know lies it was the hour of the power of darkness we need to be careful and we need to be prayerful because not everyone can perceive the hour of the power of darkness this came out from the mouth of jesus christ the power of darkness the hour of the power of darkness i pray that in the hour of the power of darkness all the believable lies they will put together will never stand in your life and in the life of your family in the name of jesus christ as the lord was there in the in that particular hour to deliver peter may god deliver us look at that statement from the mouth of jesus christ luke chapter 22 verse 53 the last line the hour of the power of darkness just imagine he said i know this is the hour i'm not going to fight it this is the hour permitted by god i pray that when that hour will come in your life you would depend on god to make a way of escape for you tama would not have escaped if not for god there is no how. And some of us try to be too holy for God. When God tells you this is the way of escape, don't delay. Follow it quickly. Follow it quickly. If not for God, Rahab and the entire household would have been wiped out. It was the hour for the power of darkness. But look at how God saved Tamar. Look at how God saved Rahab. Rahab made a vow with two men. What made her to believe? She said, we have heard about how your God has been destroying and has been doing things. I want that your God to save me and to say, Rahab is a believer, not a harlot. Rahab is a believer because she believed in God. Rahab is a, is, as, is a deliverer because that's what she was destined to be. And by the books, by the Ezekiel chapter 18, Ezekiel chapter 18 and Ezekiel 28, Rahab will be found in heaven because at the nick of time, she denounced every works of, of, of flesh that was put upon her by the by the hour of the time she was living in it was the hour of the times she found herself in an occupation but that was not the occupation god intended for her but it was the way of 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 survival in that time because of the hour she survived by being a harlot in that hour and then the hour of the power of darkness came if not for god the Lord made her to make the vow with the right set of people. May the Lord position the right set of people around you. I said that when God wants to deliver you, it will come from heaven. And deliverance by word. It was word of mouth. Nothing happened when they say, say, put this tie by your window and I make a vow before God and man that when other places will be destroyed, your house will not be destroyed. Delivered by the word of mouth. Nobody fell down. Nobody, nothing shook. Nothing did anything. But when they came back, truly the house of Rahab was preserved and her house, she believed, she put all her family, she put all her kindred in the house and the Lord delivered. I pray that as you're hearing this voice, you will believe the voice of the man of God. You believe the voice of the man of God on this holy mountain. I pray that the word of God will come to you in peace and with joy. With peace and with joy. So much that you'll be able to believe like Tamar. You'll be able to believe like Rahab. You'll be able to believe also in the name of Jesus Christ as Jesus believed. As Peter believed. Jesus said this is the hour of the power of darkness. In the power of the hour of darkness of your life in Jesus name, the plans and purpose of God for your life will not be changed. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say the plans and the purpose of God for your life will not be changed in the name of Jesus Christ. There was another believable lie you know peter peter was saying that he was going to go with jesus christ he was going to be there he was go, he was ready to die with jesus christ and jesus told him that no that which you are believing is a lie it's not true it will not happen before in fact i assure you that when i am arrested before the cock will crow you would deny me three times you will say you do not know me that is the truth that is the truth and peter would not believe Peter would not believe, but it actually happened. Peter was, was immediately Jesus was um, apprehended or was captured or was arrested by these people and led into the council and then judgment was passed. Peter was following no doubt. Peter was following all the preceding. Peter was following everything. Peter was observing. And then one of the ladies just quickly recognized him, you see, 
one of the they put on the fire they sat down they were deliberating one of the ladies res, um, re, um, recognized him and said that this person is one of those that was with the with the same man that was arrested verse 57 you know and he denied saying to the woman i know him not which was what jesus said jesus said it he said you are saying that you'll be with me you are ready to die with me you are ready to you know you are ready to sacrifice but that is a lie that will not happen the truth of what will happen is that you will deny me you will deny me three times before the cock will crow and so the, the peter denied verse 57 denied and said he, did, he does not know jesus christ you know and then again the woman insisted you know other people insisted and after a little while another saw him and said thou art also them the p and peter said man i am not that is verse 58 i am not about you know about the same few minutes after you know he confirmed again he confirmed another person he said this person is one he's a galilean is one of those that was following jesus and verse 60 says peter you know said again man i know not what thou sayest then immediately while he yet spake the cock crew I know not what you say, cock, the cock crow, verse 61. The Lord turned and looked unto Peter. The Lord turned, Jesus Christ. He turned and looked unto Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said unto him, before the cock, before the cock crew, thou shalt deny me thrice. And Peter went out and wept bitterly. 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 Some of us, when the truth of what will happen will tell us, I pray that our heart can take it. A lot of us will say, Oh Lord, reveal to me your plan for my life. Oh Lord, reveal to me the purpose of tomorrow. Oh Lord, when they tell you this is what God is planning for you tomorrow, you say, Never, never. This is what will be. Some of us like to believe in a lie. We need to believe in what God did not say. The Lord is telling you and me that this is how my life and your life will be. Through prophecy or through a word. Some of us will be resisting it. Instead of saying, God, give me the grace or God, do this or God, do that. Instead of to make it into a prayer mandate or pray, put, turn it into a prayer point and then summon up the power of God, you know, to fight or to rectify or to, you know, put things, you know, back in order for us. Instead of allowing us to pray like that, guess what? Some of us will try to resist it and that is why a lot of people, their life end up to be what God never planned it to be. Peter was told by Jesus Christ, what you are believing is good. It sounds so good. It's when some people would, would say some things to you. It sounds so good. But believe me, you, that is just a lie. That is not what God intended. That is not the Jeremiah 29 of their life. And that is not the Isaiah 55 verse 8 and 9 of their life. But they like to believe in it. That is not what God intend to establish. Some believe about their son that it will be this. Some believe about their daughter that it will be that. But the, when the Lord gives you a prophecy and says, this is your son, in the next three months, this is what will be. If the Lord shows you a dream, if the Lord shows you a dream or gives you a prophecy, and it sounds like that of Peter, what you should do is go back to God in prayer. Peter never went back to God in prayers. Peter never went back to God in prayer, but normally what Peter should have done was to go back to God in prayers and then lift up and lift up very powerful prayers unto the Lord, you know, with regards to the revelation of what God has shown. With revelation to what God has shown, you see. But most people, they would not act on prophecy. They would not act on word of knowledge. They would not act on word of wisdom. You see, Jesus was giving clearly word of wisdom. Peter, this is what will be. Peter, this is the truth of what will be any time from now. I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice. I do not know if God has revealed by word of wisdom, you know, the truth of what will be in the few days from what you are listening to me now. Some people don't just fight it. Give it up unto God. Go to God in prayers. Go to God in fasting and in prayer and speak to the Lord concerning it. Remember, Bible said that he went out bitter and was, you know, he, he went out, you know, and he was bitter about what has taken place. He went out dejected because of the eye Jesus used to look at him. In fact, the account in the book of Luke we just read is not that detailed. If you look at Matthew chapter 26, verse 74 and 75. Matthew 26, 74 and 75. Matthew 26, 74 and 75. In fact, not only that the believable lie, the enemy plan was all that took place in the life of Peter, 
Peter placed a curse upon himself. Then Peter cursed and swore, saying, I know not the man. And immediately the cock crew. So if you read this version of Matthew chapter 26, verse 74 and 75, you'll see that before the cock crew, Peter even started to propound another believable lie about himself by placing a curse on himself. Is Peter supposed to be a man carrying a curse? No. No. Somebody, you, we can place a curse on people very quickly or sometimes we can place a curse on ourselves. Caution yourself. You are not meant to be releasing curses. It's a believable lie. You're not. You're supposed to be blessing. There should never be one curse coming out of your mouth, whether to somebody or to yourself. It's all these things are lies. When the hour of the power of darkness has come, Jesus said, I know this is the hour of the power of darkness. When that hour comes, the one, since they cannot touch us, they make us to say things to destroy the purpose of God in our life. And that was the case of Peter. But thanks be to God because Jesus prayed for him. Because Jesus stood in the gap. Because Jesus prayed for him. Although before Jesus came, they were far asleep. <coughs> Jesus came, before Jesus came, Jesus was praying. And Jesus expected them to pray with him. But they were fast asleep. And Jesus asked them, if you see in that Luke chapter what, 22, Luke chapter 22, you will see in the earlier part where Jesus was telling, oh, Jesus was, in fact, Jesus was asked, Can it, can't you people tarry with me? Couldn't you pray with me some few for a few hours? But that prayer, they could not pray. That prayer earlier before he was arrested that they could not pray because the hour was come. Look at now, making Peter to curse himself as we have seen in, in, in the scripture, making Peter to curse himself in Matthew chapter 26, verse 74 and 75, cursing himself and that made him to weep bitterly. He went out and he wept bitterly. He wept bitterly. But thanks be to God because the devil could not stigmatize him forever. Why? Because, you see, Prior to that time, Jesus had already put up the, the truth of the life of Peter. And some of you under the sound of my voice, God is already putting up the truth of your life. Whether the enemy likes it or not, this is the truth of the life of Peter. Not Peter that was denying, not Peter that was cursing himself, not Peter that brought out the sword and almost killed if, if not for the mercy of God that made him to slash off the ears. You see, Peter is not meant to be a killer. Peter is not meant to slash off. Peter is not meant to hurt. Peter is meant to be an apostle. And that's what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, Matthew chapter 16, verse 17. Jesus answered and said unto me, unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood are not revealed unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. Verse 18. I say unto thee that thou art Peter. Thou art Peter. I say unto thee, thou art Peter. Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. This is the truth of Peter's life. Upon this church, I will, upon this rock, I will build my church. The gates of hell shall not prevail. Upon this rock of truth, upon this rock of deliverance, I will build my church. Not Peter cutting off the ear, the church will not be built on that. Not Peter denying so that the church can have excuse to lie and to deny and to swear. Not Peter placing curse upon himself so that the church will have a reason to place curses upon themselves or place curses upon people. No, none of the above. That is not who Peter is meant to be. Peter is meant to be, by revelation, the church the church built by God, the glorious church, the church full of peace and joy, the church performing the purpose of God here on earth, the church that represents the kingdom of God, Holy Spirit says, stop there. Ah, I pray that the Holy Spirit can permit us to carry on on Thursday because there are other side of this deliverance we need to see. But wherever you may be, whether people have seen you like Tamar and they say it's finished for this one. First husband, gone. Second husband, gone. And they say it's finished for this person. God in the last minute, beyond what anybody can think, can surely make a way of escape for you. Somebody join me and say, Lord, make a way of escape for me. Make a way of escape for me. As you made a way of escape for Tamar, as you made a way of escape for Rahab, Rahab was already stigmatized. Everybody saw her in a particular light. But that is not the light with which God created her. She's a deliverer. She's a deliverer. She's a believer. She believes in the power of the Lord God Almighty, the 
the most high and she manifested that belief she manifested that belief and that belief was able to save her save her brethren save her father mother and save her kindred somebody under the side of my voice you are a deliverer you are not the person the enemy is making you think that you are you are not somebody in the name of jesus christ oh lord help me to see myself the way you have created me how you have created me can you join me in this prayer help me to perceive myself help me to see myself help me to walk in the light of whom you have made me to be a deliverer whom you have made me to be a believer rahab a believer rahab a deliverer but that was not the name she was called she was called rahab the harlot that is not true and deliverance came that showed that that is not the truth of her life Oh Lord, bring about that deliverance that will undo believable lie. That will undo believable lie. That will undo believable lie. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That will undo believable lie. Bring about a turnaround. Bring about a turnaround that will undo a believable lie. That will undo the believable lie. In the name of Jesus Christ. That will undo believable lie. Bring about in Jesus' name. Uh, bring about a turnaround bring about a turnaround, a deliverance, a turnaround, bring it about a way of escape that would undo a believable lie. Somebody put in prayer, put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer, put in prayer, 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 that will undo believable lie. That will undo believable lie, that will undo, that will undo believable lie in the name of Jesus Christ. If you look at, look if you look at Luke 22, verse 53, there is something there, the hour of the power of darkness. Somebody, let us pray. Every hour, any hour and every hour of the power of darkness, may the Lord deliver us from the hour of the power of darkness. That they want to stigmatize a family, stigmatize a household, stigmatize a generation. Oh Lord, deliver us from what the power of, what the power of of darkness oh lord deliver us from the hour of that power of darkness that hour in Mark chapter 5, the demon says, our time has not come, our hour has not come, meaning it was still the hour of the power of darkness. However, the Lord told them that in the life of the man they were in his life, and all of them called themselves legion. He said, Your time is up. Somebody, the believable lie in your life, the time is up. The deliverance is here and now. That time is up. In Luke chapter 8 and in Luke chapter no, in Luke chapter 8 and in Mark chapter 5, the man that was possessed with the legions of spirit, even though the hour of the power of darkness was still prevailing, but in his life, the hour was was overturned. The hour was overturned. Deliverance. Oh, that can overdo believable lies. Deliverance to undo believable lies took place in the life of that man because in his life it was time for every demon to leave. It is time for every demon to leave, to leave your business, to leave your family, to leave your children, to leave your community, to leave anything that God says is your purpose. It's about time that the deliverance of God will come to undo every believable lies consigning those things that have been produced projected contrary to Jeremiah 29 verse 11 of your life, Jeremiah 33 verse 2 of your life, Isaiah 55 verse 8 and 9 of your life is about time in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord will command the power of darkness that is prevailing to be lifted, to be undone, to be lifted, to be undone. The power of darkness prevailing in your life to be lifted, to be undone, to be lifted. Lifted. It's about time. It's about time. It's about time, man of God. It's about time. It's about time. It's about time. It's about time, woman of God. It's about time that the power of darkness in your life, in my life, in the life of our loved ones, will be undone by fire, by force. It's about time. It's about time that the power of darkness in your life, in the life of your loved ones. Oh Lord, bring about deliverance. Please get your bottle of water ready very quickly. Get your bottle of water ready and type the word ready. Get your bottle of water ready very quickly. We are going to take it anytime from now and i believe that as you're taking it in jesus name the power of god the blood of jesus christ the power of the holy spirit is going to bring about deliverance is going to bring about del is deliverance that can undo any form of believable life maybe they are calling you barren maybe they are
are calling you childless. Maybe they are calling you by the name they were calling, you know, Rahab. They are calling you a name that is not your name instead of calling you the deliverer that God has created you to be. You see, or maybe the enemy wants you to react like Peter and be seen like a murderer, like a fighter when you are an apostle. Or react and bring curses upon yourself such that the apostolic grace cannot come upon you since you have placed a curse. The Lord take away that curse right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God break every yoke as you drink with us. The power of God break any yoke and every yoke as you call upon the power of the blood of Jesus and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody, wherever you may be, in Jesus' name, open the water, say with me, let's plead the blood of Jesus Christ nine times, and let's plead and say, Holy Spirit, take control, take over nine times, and as we plead again the name Jesus Christ nine times, we will drink, and I know that somebody, deliverance will locate you, deliverance will locate that your son, deliverance will locate that your daughter, deliverance will locate that your husband, deliverance will locate that your wife, the same way Isaac stood in the gap and deliverance located, you know, um, rich, um, and located the wife in Jesus' name. That is how, that is how deliverance will locate you. As Isaac stood in the gap and deliverance located Rebecca, so also with deliverance locate you. As Tamar, God made a way of escape for Tamar, God will make a way of escape for you. As the Lord made a way of escape for Rahab and her family, the Lord make a way of escape for you. As the Lord made a way of escape through Jesus Christ for Peter, the Lord make a way of escape for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ nine times. I plead the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ, blood of Jesus Christ, first three. I plead the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ, blood of Jesus Christ, second three. I plead the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ, third three. In Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to Holy Spirit take control, take over nine times. Holy Spirit take control, take over. Only we 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 take control, take over. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us drink together. If you believe, Rahab believed. If you believe, Rahab believed. If you believe, Rahab believed. Believe also and you will receive your blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. If you're under the sound of my voice and you like to give your life to Jesus Christ, straight forth your hand towards me. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I confess any sin. I confess every sin in the name of Jesus Christ. Any sin, every sin. I confess, O oh Lord, Ma Shantari Brosi Kaaba. A daily kaya dalemo. I confess any sin, every sin that I have committed knowingly and unknowingly. Let the power of the blood of Jesus Christ cleanse me. Let the power of the blood of Jesus Christ cleanse me from any and every iniquity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Today I declare Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and my personal Savior. I declare the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and my personal Savior. I declare the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. I believe he died for me, was buried for my sake, and for my sake was lifted from the grave. In the name of Jesus Christ, I denounce any covenant. I denounce every, every form of pronouncement that have come out of my mouth. I deny, I denounce it by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. I declare today that I'm born again, I'm born again, I'm born again, and it is binding in Jesus' name. If you'd like to dedicate your life, say with me, say I dedicate, say I dedicate, say I dedicate my life unto you, Alpha Omega, and it is binding in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Alpha Omega, I want to thank you for the opportunity, O God, for us to come into your presence. Thank you, O Lord God Almighty. Grant us the grace, O God, to finish this session, O Lord. Father, even when we come for the next session in your presence of deliverance on Thursday, help us to complete, O God, this session in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the understanding you have granted and thank you for not allowing those believable lies to become the default, to become the real, the reality of God, of your people. You delivered Tamar. You delivered Rahab. You delivered Peter. Oh Lord, deliver somebody under the sound of my voice. Even as we'll be seeing another male that you delivered, that the enemy had already put up a stigmatization, uh, that had put up a powerful, believable lie that could never change. But you came and overturned that believable lie. Oh Lord, overturn every believable lie in our lives and bring us into your original plan and that 
perfect expectation you had for us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for everyone putting in prayer Monday. I soak with the blood of Jesus Christ. I pray for every family. I pray for every father. I pray for every mother. And I pray, oh God, that yokes today that are broken, let it never repeat itself. Ancestral causes, every soured grape that have been put up. Jehovah, as you deliver these households, as you deliver these families, Lord, let that permanently be their default in Jesus' name. That they break in pieces the hour of the power of darkness. Break in pieces the hour of the power of darkness. Break in pieces, oh Lord, as you have done before now. Break in pieces the hour of the power of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Redeemer, because you have taken away all those evil stigmatization to the glory and honor of your name. Thank you, Alpha Omega. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. I soak everyone in the hospital, prison, home. I soak with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing now. Receive your turnarounds now. Receive your double for your trouble now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for anyone, everyone, Jehovah that is trusting you for healing. Let healing spring forth speedily in their body because healing is already in their body. Let it spring forth. Daddy, healing was already in the life of Tamar. Daddy, healing was already there. You only made the right connection, the right connection so that that healing can, can spring forth in our body. Bring the right connection, oh God. Daddy, there was healing already with Rahab. You brought the right men and she made the right connection and the right pronouncements were made and you saved her an entire generation. Make the right connection for your people. Alpha Omega, under the sound of my voice. Let there be healing. Let there be deliverance. Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. Let there be revival. Let there be revival. Let there be resuscitation. Let there be resuscitation. Let there be refreshments. In the name of Jesus Christ, do what you alone can do. Honor and glorify your name. Thank you, O God, for every man of God, woman of God that you have spoken through and everyone that you have lift, lifted up, O God, on this mountain by this message. Thank you, O Jehovah. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. Make it us of quick understanding. We give you praise with thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, so shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Thank you so much for all your understanding and thank you for being one of the people that can be relied on by God on this holy mountain to win souls, to stand in the gap, to lift up prayer mandates and to put in prayer, prayer, prayer. I'm so excited and I'm so happy that God can find myself and you faithful enough standing in the gap for his will to be done. And I pray that every believable lies that the Lord will start to bring about deliverance like never before in the name of Jesus Christ. The course of your destiny will not be changed. The course of the plans of God for your life will not be changed. The purpose of God for your life will never be thwarted. In the name of Jesus Christ, I celebrate every man of God I celebrate. I celebrate every woman of God I celebrate. I celebrate everyone under the sound of my voice that God has brought onto this particular broadcast. And I know that the hour of the power of darkness will never prevail in your life the way the enemy intended. Rather, it will work for your good as we have seen from the scripture in Jesus' name, so shall it be. The Lord make a way of escape for you, double for your trouble, double for any and every trouble that you have been through or that you have seen in Jesus' name. Thank God for everyone that is praying with the apostle. Thank you so much for praying with us. God bless you. Everyone that shared the broadcast, everyone that God is using to win one more soul, everyone that is making this broadcast come alive for God's people to be blessed all over the world. May God who seen the secret openly reward you in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone that is so into the work, may God come Continue to lift you up and honor you in Jesus' name. I appreciate anyone and everyone. The Lord, if the Lord is leading you to be part of what is going on on this mountain, you can check the top of the page, Missionary Outreach Mountain of PPP, and there is a link there. Be part of what God is doing. And if it's not working for you, communicate to us and we'll be able to work out something in the name of Jesus Christ. We are being used by God, not by man, and we trust that God will continue to use us mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. If you're watching me, if you're watching me from the YouTube, we want to like and subscribe we want to subscribe right now and then press the red bell so that you can know when next we are having a live broadcast so that you can know when next we're having a live broadcast just like and don't subscribe right now and then and then of course click on the on the red on the red bell so that you can know when next whenever we have a new upload i mean to say so that you can know the next broadcast is taking place on thursday this week thursday at the same time so if you are 
going to be part of that live broadcast and you are not on Facebook, the best way to be is come to the Facebook and the search engine type at Jumbo Isong, type at Jumbo Isong at J-U-M-B-O-I-S-O-N-G and as you type, search for that, the Missionary Outreach Mountain of PPP will come up, like and follow that page and you'll be able to be part of the live broadcast god bless you if you needed counseling if you needed you know if you needed prayer or, or you needed to ask or find out the meaning or interpretation of a dream by the leading of the holy spirit kindly just use the send message we have on our page missionary outreach mountain of ppp send that message through there or send it through messenger or as well send it through whatsapp using the number plus four four seven four three six one five seven six zero four plus four four seven four three six one five seven six zero four you can see that number on our page and you can see it on my profile world jumbo isong in bracket uyuata god bless you god honor you my name is apostle jumbo isong i love you so much and i know god loves each and every one of us permit me to sign up as usual we go punish the devil punish 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 the lord rebuke the devil rebuke 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 in jesus name so shall it be i can't live without appreciating people that god have used to make this broadcast of a great of a great blessing i want to thank god for you l johnson god bless you thank you for all your help l johnson god bless you bless you bless you god bless you georgia anavas god bless you bless you bless you god bless you georgia georgia anavas god bless you marcia wilson god bless you for all your help god bless you bless you bless you marcia wilson god bless you kdr to s god bless you for all your help god bless you bless you bless you god bless you god lift you up god honor you god bless you god honor you Prince Sopru, Obi, God bless you, man of God. Thank you for always allowing God to use you mightily. God bless you, God bless you. I appreciate you, God bless you. Miracle Chibweze, God bless you, man of God. Prince Miracle Chibweze, God bless you, bless you, bless you. Thank you for all your help. Chibweze, Chris, God bless you so much. God honor you, God lift you up. Vivian Sopru, Obi, God bless you, man of God. God bless you, so. God bless you. L. Johnson, God bless you. L. Johnson, for all your help. God bless you, bless you, bless you. God bless you. God bless you, God bless you high e high b god bless you high b for all your help god bless you god bless you oh van god bless you god bless you oh or g god bless you or g god bless you tony k god bless you god bless you tony k h god bless you god bless you tony h h god bless you god honor you god lift you up nelly a god bless you nelly god bless you nelly god bless you god bless you god bless you zawana m god bless you zawana m god bless you god lift you up god lift you up s raymond god bless you s raymond god bless you in the name of jesus christ god bless you prudence e god bless you prudence e god bless you david t god bless you god bless you david t god bless you me Michelle Rob Robertson, God bless you. M. Robertson, God bless you. God bless you. God honor you. God lift you up. God bless you. Know me, M. God bless you. Know me. God bless you, Naomi, for all what God is doing through you. God bless you. God honor you. God bless you. God bless you. Orlando, God bless you. Engineer Uba Wambasinemeke, God bless you. Darling MG, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Christiana, God, D.O., God bless you. Mrs. Akonji, God bless you. God honor you. God lift you up. God bless you. God honor you. God lift you up. God enlarge your coast in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Katisha Douglas, God bless you. Joe Butchwana, God bless you. Joe Butchwana always of a great help god bless you god bless you anyone everyone under the sound of my voice i live in the hands of the holy spirit god bless you baruch hashem adonai meaning blessed be the name of god god bless you shalom 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 god bless you bye bye hallelujah god bless you